These animals may look small, but they're much stronger than they look. They're able to defeat enemies multiple times their own size. Here are 15 predators that can defeat larger prey. Number 15. Komodo Dragon Growing up to 10 feet long and in some cases weighing as much as 150 pounds, Komodo dragons are the largest species of lizard in the world. Still, this doesn't stop them from occasionally targeting prey that's even bigger than they are. They're native to several Indonesian islands where they're a dominant force in the local ecosystem. Usually, they feed on the carcasses of animals that have died by other means, but they'll also hunt live prey when the opportunity presents itself. Still, to be able to kill a wild pig in mere seconds, it seems there's nothing they'll avoid if they're hungry enough. While it was previously believed that they had deadly bacteria in their saliva, this isn't now believed to be true at all. Instead, their main means of capturing prey is to deliver such a violent initial bite that their victim will bleed out quickly, and the dragon simply needs to follow it until it's so weak that they can begin to eat. Their main targets include deer, birds, and invertebrate species, but they've also developed a fond taste for water buffalo, which aren't a species native to the islands, but have been introduced as livestock. They've also been known to attack humans too, which means they're easily the most dangerous lizards you'll ever encounter. Number 14. Stoat The stoat is a mammal that's native to regions across Europe, Asia, and America. There are actually 37 known subspecies that have adapted to their particular habitats, and they range in sizes with the largest growing to be around 13 inches long and weighing up to 9 ounces. Traditionally, they've been a popular species to hunt because of their silky fur and have been introduced into new environments such as in Australia in an attempt to help curb populations of other animals, but this hasn't exactly turned out well because they're such effective hunters. Normally, their preferred prey are small rodents, but as opportunistic predators, they'll chase down anything they think they'll have a chance of capturing. If you watch one in the wild, you'll see it checking every nook and cranny and inspecting every burrow it comes across and they've developed techniques to incapacitate animals much larger than themselves, particularly rabbits. They have sharp but short teeth, usually inflict a bite on the back of their prey just below the neck. On smaller animals, this is often instantly fatal, but with larger animals, it's usually the shock of the attack that causes them to die. Of course, one stoat wouldn't be able to eat an entire rabbit to itself in one go, but the creatures will always make the most of all food that they catch and will store it away for their families or themselves at a later time. Number 13. Lions Lions are probably the most recognizable of all large cats, and have long played a part in human civilization, with depictions of the creatures being found in cave paintings from more than 17,000 years ago. They are, of course, one of the deadliest land predators on Earth, and are classified as hypercarnivores because so much of their diets are made up of meat. Typically, a lion can grow up to 82 inches long and weigh up to 500 pounds, but this in no way limits them to prey that are smaller than them. In fact, lions normally work together in groups and will often be seen trying to take down prey that's as much as twice the size of them. In Africa, there are only a few animals that lions normally won't try and attack, such as elephants, rhinoceros, and hippos. But virtually everything else is fair game to them. Giraffe, wildebeest, and zebras often find themselves on the receiving end of a lion's ferocious bite. And there's a reason why they target such large prizes. They have relatively low stamina, so can only run in short bursts, and they need to continue eating to maintain high enough energy levels to survive. The energy spent on taking smaller prey is virtually the same as larger animals, so the cost-benefit ratio means that it makes sense for them to attack the largest victims that they can. Number 12. Golden Eagle Golden eagles are one of the most widely found species of eagle and are native to regions throughout the Northern Hemisphere from Asia to Europe to America. Growing to 40 inches long and with a wingspan of up to 8 feet, they are an imposing creature when they're flying through the air and can quite easily capture small prey in their talons and fly off with them. They hunt during the day and it's been estimated that only 1 in 5 attempts result in them actually getting a meal. Since they need to eat at least 8 or 9 ounces of food a day, it's vital for them to find substantive food sources and sometimes they're forced to go after something that's a lot larger than themselves. Of course, when they do this, they can't rely on their normal hunting techniques because it won't be so easy for them to grab their target and fly away with it. But golden eagles are also highly intelligent and have learned to use their surroundings to their advantage. They have, for example, been seen to drag goats and other animals off the side of a cliff, which will either kill them or incapacitate them enough that the eagle can swoop in and eat as much as they want. 
Number 11. Epomis beetle The Epomis is a genus of beetle that's native to the wetland regions of Africa. There are actually 30 known species of them that have adapted to their particular habitats. One thing that's true with them all, however, is that they aren't the easy prey to other creatures that most beetles are, and their larvae have a particular deceptive hunting technique that allows them to catch prey that's many times their own size. Amphibians are normally a beetle larva's worst nightmare, but Epomis beetles have found a way to turn the tables. They act like normal prey to attract the frog close by, and when it lunges forward to try to eat them, they avoid the attack. In a quick motion, the larva will bite the amphibian on the throat or the underside, and will hang on tight to this spot while it drains the nutrients that it needs in a similar way to how parasites act. This usually spells the end for the frog, that has no way of combating the unwelcome passenger. And it's not just the larvae that they have to be careful of. The adult Epomus beetles will also hunt amphibians, and will use their mandibles to cut through the victim's leg muscles to prevent it from being able to move. Number 10. Jaguar Native to the Americas, jaguars are the largest species of cat in the New World, and the third largest on the planet. Growing up to 6 feet long, they can weigh in excess of 345 pounds, which along with their strength and powerful bite, means they are ferocious predators. They are at the top of the food chain, and have no natural predators that hunt them, so they're able to lie in wait for potential prey, and therefore take whatever opportunities present themselves. Typically, they'll capture animals that are smaller than themselves, such as capybara, giant anteaters, and boar, but they'll sometimes take a risk and target something much larger. One of the more surprising animals that jaguar will attack aren't land-based, but spend most of their time in the water. Jaguars are adept swimmers, so much so that they can take on one of the most dangerous aquatic animals in the Amazon, the caiman. They have such powerful bites that they can pierce shells and armor, so long as they can avoid the caiman's own bite. They have more than enough strength at their disposal to take one down. It's a surprising sight to see, but one that reaffirms why jaguars are such dominant predators. Number 9. Hagfish Hagfish look more like eels than a fish, and this is because the creatures first developed in the oceans around 300 million years ago, and have hardly changed since. Most animals adapt to their surroundings to become more effective at hunting food and reproducing, but the hagfish was already so good at this that very few improvements have occurred through evolution. Usually, they don't have any jaws, and instead the creatures that grow to around 20 inches long have horn-shaped teeth and a circular formation in their mouths that direct food towards their throat. They also produce huge amounts of slime along their bodies, and this allows them to squeeze into tight spaces and avoid capture. Normally, hagfish prey on small, bottom-feeding worms, but they can target prey that's much larger than themselves. They often take advantage of weak or injured fish that they encounter, and will tear open a hole, enter the body, and devour their victim from the inside out. They're actually able to absorb nutrients through their skin, too which means that once they're inside their prey, they don't need to do anything apart from moving around. Occasionally, fish and other sea creatures will wash ashore covered in bite marks from hagfish, and these wounds can be so vicious that, for a long time, it was believed that they were the result of an attack by a giant squid. Found in waters around the world, in many ways you'd probably prefer to be attacked by a giant squid, because death by hagfish is likely to be an extremely prolonged and drawn-out process. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Anaconda There are four known species of anaconda, each of which is native to South America, but they're the most famous because of the largest, the green anaconda. It's the heaviest snake species on the planet. Growing to more than 17 feet long and weighing as much as 154 pounds, it's claimed that even bigger specimens actually exist, but this may be the result of seeing one just after it is eaten. Anacondas aren't venomous like some snakes, but are constrictors. They wrap themselves around their prey to squeeze the life out of them, and are able to open their mouth so wide that they can swallow meals that are larger than themselves. So long as the anaconda believes it'll be able to overpower its victim, then it'll try to capture it. And this includes animals that you'd think impossible for them to swallow, like cows, caiman, capybara, and deer. They've also been known to attack and eat humans too, but luckily this is far less common. Number 7. Praying Mantis The praying mantis gets its name because it looks like it's always worshipping a higher power, but the hunting abilities of the insects also mean they're incredibly adept at capturing prey too. There are actually more than 2,400 different known species of mantis, 
And while they may look similar to other stick-like insects, they are most closely related to termites and cockroaches. Most species are ambush predators, so will lay in wait, camouflaging into their surroundings until a potential meal passes by. Normally, they'll eat insects and spiders, but some of the larger ones will also go after lizards, frogs, fish, and occasionally small birds. When they strike, they stab their victim with their spiked forelegs and do this so quickly and repeatedly that they can deliver a fatal blow in an instant. While they usually go for prey that's around their own size, they'll sometimes try something larger if the opportunity presents itself, and they have no problems in attacking and eating hummingbirds, which are often several times larger than themselves. Despite being one of the most agile creatures in the animal kingdom, hummingbirds can be caught off guard by an attack by a mantis, and if they don't fly away immediately, the outcome is inevitable. Number 6. Coyote Native to North America, coyotes aren't the largest of canine species on the continent, but they're certainly one of the most effective hunters. Growing to 4 or 5 feet long and weighing up to 45 pounds, there are 19 known subspecies, each of which has a slightly different appearance that helps them hunt and blend in with the surroundings of the environment where they live. They are highly social animals and will live and hunt with their families and packs, and this is what makes them so potentially dangerous to prey animals. Normally, coyotes will hunt rabbits, rodents, birds, fish, and reptiles, but if they get a chance to work together to take a much larger target, then they will. Deer, cows, elk, and buffalo all have been known to be killed and devoured by coyotes. But they'll never do this alone. The youngsters won't help attack such large creatures, but all it takes is two coyotes to do the job. Unlike wolves, which approach large prey from behind, coyotes attack from head on and will go straight for the head and throat. They'll bite and claw at their target, and the intent is that they can cause fatal injuries in the initial onslaught before their prey has any chance of retaliation. Amazingly, coyotes have been known to take down animals that weigh as much as 440 pounds, which is 10 times the weight of themselves. Number 5. Snapping Turtle Common snapping turtles are a species of freshwater turtle that are native to North America. When fully grown, their shells can be up to 20 inches long, and they weigh up to 35 pounds, although in captivity they can become much larger than this because of overfeeding. They are a notoriously aggressive species that have long been said to be able to bite human fingers clean off. Although actual documented instances of this actually happening are hard to come by. When they've reached full size, they don't have many natural predators, but will still shy away from any threats underwater if they have the opportunity to do so. When they're on the hunt, however, they have an entirely different temperament and will chase after fish, frogs, invertebrates, and small birds. One of their most effective hunting techniques is to stay just beneath the surface of the water and wait for something to breach above them, and then they'll thrust upwards to catch it in their jaws. Of course, from that vantage point, they can't always be sure quite how big their target truly is, and this leads to occasions when they attack birds that are much larger than them, but are still able to drag them underwater and feed on them. While it's not necessarily a purposeful act, snapping turtles are quite often seen taking on much larger prey than themselves, and because most of the struggle takes place in the water where they're most comfortable, they usually come out on top. Number 4. Spider Wasp There are approximately 150,000 different species of wasp in the world, each of which has its own unique adaptations and reasons to stay well clear of, but possibly some of the most frightening of the estimated 5,000 species of spider wasp. Typically growing to just an inch or two long, they are a solitary species that can be found across the planet and have developed an unusual way of ensuring that their larvae have plenty of food. This is because they lay their larvae in the food to begin with, and their preferred source of nutrition is the corpse of a spider. Different spider wasps target different spider species, with ones that have adapted for tarantulas, huntsmen, wolf spiders, and jumping spiders. When ready to lay, the female wasp scours vegetation and the ground for a suitable host spider and begin to beat their wings over their target. This tricks the spider into thinking that the wasp is being attacked by a bird, and it curls up as small as possible to avoid being targeted itself. Unfortunately for the spider, this is exactly what the wasp wants because it makes it vulnerable to attack, and the wasp delivers a venomous sting that paralyzes it. The spider is then dragged to a burrow, which is either one that's been dug by the wasp or is the spider's own refuge, and it's there that the wasp lays the eggs. The spider remains paralyzed and is unable to prevent any of this from happening, and will still be living by the time the eggs hatch. At this point, the larva begins feasting on the spider, but it's careful to avoid all the vital organs to ensure it stays alive throughout. 
Eventually, though, the larvae will finish the spider off, and by this time it should have eaten enough nutrients to enable it to pupate. Number 3. Goliath Bird Eater Of the almost 46,000 different known species of spider in the world, the biggest of them all is called the Goliath Bird Eater. It's a tarantula that's native to the northern regions of South America and can grow to have a leg span of just over 5 inches and a weight of a little more than 6 ounces. They mainly exist on a diet of worms, amphibians, insects, lizards, and rodents and will bite them to inject a deadly toxin. Once their victim no longer has enough strength to fight back, the spider will drag it back to its burrow where it will inject them with further toxins that liquefy their insides and allow the spider to literally drink the nutrients from within their body. With such bulk and size, however, Goliath bird eaters are more than capable of attacking and defeating animals that are much larger than them. Their name comes from stories in the 18th century that they eat hummingbirds, and while this is a behavior that's very rarely seen, it's not completely unheard of. They've also been seen attacking large toads and even snakes that could have the ability to wrap around them a number of times. But this tarantula's toxins and aggression mean that it's able to overpower most things that are up to twice their size. Number 2. Puma Also known as cougars or mountain lions, pumas are a species of large cat that are native to mountainous regions across North and South America. They can grow to around 8 feet long and weigh as much as 220 pounds and have incredibly sharp claws and powerful jaws that allow them to latch onto prey and never let go. This is particularly important in the environment that they live in because it may be some time until they have another opportunity to feed, so for pumas, it's important to take advantage of every opportunity they come across. Typically, they'll eat rodents, birds, fish, or rabbits, but sometimes they'll take their chances and target something much larger. They will therefore target sheep, deer, and even guanaco, which are closely related to llamas, and all of these can be much larger than a puma. They don't, however, stand much chance against one, because while they may have developed the ability to run away at fast speeds, the short sprinting ability of the puma is usually more than enough to catch up with them. As with other large cats, pumas will go for the jugular and try to inflict a fatal wound as soon as possible so they can wait back and allow their prey to bleed out, and then move in to reap the rewards. With reducing habitats because of human activity, pumas have also been forced to hunt across further distances than ever before, and this has led to a number of instances where they've attacked livestock, which again is often much larger than themselves. Unlike other species that hunt for fun, though, none of the food that a puma catches will go to waste. If they aren't hungry enough to eat it all on the spot, or don't have a family that they need to provide for, they'll store any excess meat in a safe location so they can return for it later. Number 1. Scolopendra Centipede Growing to a maximum length of 12 inches, the Scolopendra centipede is one of the largest species of centipede in the world and is a vicious creature. They're found across South America and the Caribbean and target various amphibians, mammalian, and reptilian species. They'll essentially attack anything they think they'll be able to overpower and kill, and along with their sharp legs they have fangs that can be used to inject a potent venom. Normally, these giant centipedes will eat spiders, millipedes, scorpions, and tarantulas, but once they've grown to a large enough size, they're ready to take on a much larger challenge. They've been seen eating snakes that are longer than themselves and have learned a particularly effective hunting style that allows them to capture bats that are much heavier than themselves. To do this, they'll crawl up onto the roof of a cave where the bats are roosting, bite into one to inject their venom, and keep hold of it as it tries to struggle and free itself. The centipedes are powerful enough that they can hold onto the rock with just a few of their legs, which free up the rest to hold onto and fight with the bat until it succumbs to the venom and can be eaten. There's at least one documented example of a human who's been killed by the centipede's venom, too, and it's thought likely that there have been many more instances that haven't been reported. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge-watch all of our best animal-related videos.